On today's episode of UNoob.net, repairing the Xbox 360 Red Ring of Death. Go to UNoob.net for a full list of parts and equipment you will need to repair your Xbox 360. We will begin by removing the faceplate followed by the top and bottom cover. Lay out all the parts for organization. You will need to remove the six main screws to remove the side casing. Remove the face power board by unscrewing the three main screws. Then flip it on its side and remove all the remaining undercarriage screws. And slide out the motherboard. When you flip the motherboard, you'll see the X clamps. You'll need to carefully remove them using a small flathead screwdriver. Take the heat sinks off. Make sure you take off the DVD power and SATA cable from the motherboard. Using rubbing alcohol and a Q-tip, carefully clean the two main chips. and make sure they bling. Now take some aluminum foil and some metal tape. Cover all the conductors except the area we will be heating with the heat gun. Place four metal screws into the MOBO and adjust to a half inch with a nut. Use the screws to hoist up the motherboard a half inch from the griddle. Preheat the griddle to 350 degrees for about 5 minutes. Now we're going to heat the two chips with the heat gun at a medium setting for around 4 minutes. Have the heat gun about an inch to 2 inches above the motherboard. Let the motherboard heat on the griddle for about 35 to 40 minutes. Remove the motherboard off the griddle. Be careful, it's hot. Now we will apply a thin layer of Arctic Silver 5 on the chips. We'll smooth it out with a trowel or an old credit card. Now this step is optional, but I like to replace the X clamp. So we will remove all the bolts from the heat sinks and clean the surface. Use the small machine screws and place a metal and a nylon washer on the screw. The nylon washer always touches the motherboard. Place them in the motherboard from the bottom. On the other side, place more metal and nylon washers, two on each screw. Then carefully screw the heat sinks into place evenly. Place motherboard and all main hardware back into the metal casing. Powered on. And if done correctly, in most cases your Xbox will come back to life. Hey y'all, I hope you enjoyed the episode. Now definitely check out the show notes on unoob.net. If you have any questions or comments, get back to me. This is Dingo, peace.